So, before we continue, I just wanted to clearly state my stance on ChatGPT, the uses for it, and why I chose to cover it here on the channel. Because let's just objectively look at the facts. 2023 has just started, and we already have hundreds of different AI image generators, AI text generators, AI animation, and text to 3D is right around the corner. From this point on, AI is going to become integrated into every single software you can imagine, and there is no turning back. And yes, of course, every time something awesome gets invented, there will be people who use it to be lazy, to procrastinate, or to use it inappropriately. But that is not who I make these tutorials for. The information I share here is for hardworking people who want to go from writing one book a year to maybe five books a year. Who want to go from making one 3D character every six months to one character every six days. I do all of this so that instead of taking six years to make your own video game, like it took me, you could do it in one. Everything I cover here is in the spirit of finding tools that generate the best quality in the shortest amount of time with the least amount of effort for the most affordable price. And AI just happens to be excellent at nailing all four of those points. And the crazy thing is, the vast majority of these things are free. ChatGPT is free. Stable Diffusion is free. Rokoko Video AI Animation is free. Which probably means text to 3D and text to animation is probably going to be free too. So, of course, when I find software that does exactly what I need better than anything humanly possible for no money at all, then you can bet that I will share what I find with you guys here. And yes, Chat can be wrong sometimes. That is why I recommend you always double and triple check whatever it tells you. And try to use it mainly as a way to complement your study habits, not replace them. But even with all of its flaws, you have to remember, Chat was released in November. It's two months old. It's literally a baby. You guys saw how fast AIR evolved in four months. Do you really think we're not going to make the same level of stride with AI text? I guarantee you that most of its problems will be solved by next year. And for those of you wondering, what does chat have to do with 3D animation and game design? The answer is quite simple. Chat isn't just a text generation software for noobs and lazy people. If you're a professional 3D artist, you can use chat to save time learning new software, or in game design to help you plan simple scripts and code for programming. If you forgot how to mirror joints in your rig on Blender, instead of going online and surfing the web and wasting time, you can just ask chat, and more often than not, the advice it gives will be pretty close to what you need. If you're stuck trying to solve homework problems at 2 in the morning and there's no teacher, and no tutor, or anyone that can help explain what doesn't make sense to you, that is where I recommend trying the chat AI solution. But it is not a substitute for actually knowing what you are talking about. And let me be clear, I 100% believe that AI does not change people. It amplifies them. If you are lazy, you will use AI to be lazy. If you are productive, you will use AI to be even more productive. If you are good at learning and solving problems, AI will make you even better at solving problems. But if you do not practice, study, and learn to think on your own first, it is not going to make you any smarter. The reason I cover these things is because I consider the people who watch my videos as part of my community. And I want to make sure that the people in my community are equipped with all the information they need in order to be successful. If you are a writer, or an artist, or an animator, I want to make sure that you don't get blindsided by your potential competition or your peers who are using AI to generate more work faster than anything you could manually do by hand. This kind of information and software could be what gives you an edge when it comes to productivity. And even worse, if you're in a managerial or a director position and you are not adapting your projects to include the new software that is coming out this year, your competition is going to run circles around you. And if you're in my community, I don't want people to run circles around you. I want you to be up to date, up to speed, and extremely sharp when it comes to modern tech and your profession. So, I hope that clears things up. I'm really excited about this year. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.